Why, hello again, Poke people. Lovely to see you. So, I thought, since we've opened a lot of Ultra Sun and a lot of Ultra Moon, you might need a little bit of a break from it. And I thought, what better way to take a break from the newest set than with something a little older? I'm very excited to open this, and nervous, of course, because it's vintage. So this one, um, I actually got off Amazon for 1500 yen, which was significantly less than any other rocket pack I saw on Amazon. That's Japanese Amazon, of course. I don't know what is a good or bad price for the Team Rocket packs, but anyways, I have one here, and we're going to open it right now. Like, now, like, imminently, like, at any moment. I'm really nervous. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, of course, um, vintage Japanese packs, a lot of the older sets are guaranteed a hollow in every pack. So, it's not quite as valuable as the American ones. Something about the, uh, I guess, the, the gambling, the element of chance makes the American packs a lot more valuable. But Japanese packs are still pretty awesome. So, let's just pause and think for a second here. When I opened the gym heroes, the gym leaders packs, those ones had the rare at the very front. So we're going to do this and open things from the back. So first card we have here is, hey, it's a bad prime ape. So the good news is the rare card isn't at the back at least. Okay, let's see who's next. Da -da 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 -da. <gasps> Eevee! Oh, that is very, very cute. Look at how cute that Eevee is. Oh my goodness. Super duper cute card. All right, card number three. So weird getting 10 cards in a Japanese pack. <gasps> it's Psyduck. Oh, he's so cute with his headache. I can relate to Psyduck. I get a lot of headaches. <laughs> Actually spent all day yesterday at home with a headache. Oh, it's the boss's way. Which is actually exactly what it says. Boss no yarikata. The boss's way of doing things. Love it. Oh, I actually beat Rainbow Rocket not too long ago in, um, oh goodness, this is derailing my thoughts. In Ultra Moon, I defeated Rainbow Rocket. This is the infamous Grimer card. Um, personally, I don't really see it the way that everyone else does. Like, his pupils are here, so his line of sight is going up here. So he's not actually looking up her skirt, but I guess people think that he is. So in the English version, his eyes are looking elsewhere. But who am I? I am just a person who enjoys Pokemon cards. What do I know? I don't know what that is. What is happening? I, um, oh, okay. That is very odd. And that do duo, he is having some problems over there. I hope he's okay. All right, what have we got here? Ooh, that is beautiful. We have a bad Dragonair. Oh, it's so beautiful. I don't know about the rest of you guys. I like Dragonair better than Dragonite. Like, I know, I mean, you gotta evolve to the final form, fill your Pokedex, but Dragonair is way prettier. And I don't know how Dragonair becomes Dragonite. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, not sure what's happening here either. Something is happening at night time. Looks like they're recycling bottles. I don't know. But I mean, recycling doesn't seem very Team Rockety, does it? <gasps> we have an adorable, adorable Slowpoke. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Oh, and just all the detail that went into that. Like the little butterfly on his tail and the fish in the water. That's amazing. All right, and this is the last card. This will be our hollow. So, get hyped, maybe? I'm a little nervous. What could it be? What could it be? Let's see, in three, two, one. Ooh, okay then. We have a uh, wheezing, right? Coughing becomes wheezing. Oh, he is pretty creepy looking. I love that dark, dark hollow though. Oh my goodness. I'm just realizing his name is a uh, Matado Gas, so it's very close to being Mustard Gas. I don't know if it's meant to be or not, but wow, that is cool. He is going to get a sleeve because he is a vintage hollow. Oh, 
I still haven't figured out how I want to care for my older cards, so I'm taking my time opening my vintage packs. But wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, it's a hollow, so I can't complain, but honestly, I think the Dragonair is my favorite out of this pack. Let's go and get the Dragonair back here. Oh, yeah. Because that is just beautiful. Could you imagine if that was a hollow? That would be amazing. Oh, okay, well, that was a chill, simple little opening. Only one pack. Sorry, just one for today. And I'm not in focus. Now I am in focus. Oh my god. But I thought, hey, let's take a nice little break with something old. And I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you again very, very soon in the next one. Bye-bye.